do all things ultrasound as well as show inside my life with my family and kids so welcome um, and if you are not new thank you for coming back I so appreciate you guys here on my channel um, I know vlogmas did not work out again however I'll tell you guys the details of that later um, but in today's video I am going to be talking to you all about so you want to travel things that you need to know about traveling and starting and how to feel more comfortable on the job first things first um, I am actually traveling to a job today I am NOT a contract um, I, how can I say I am NOT a contract traveler in the sense of um, working with an agency and doing a 13-week assignment I did do those I would still do those but I'm more of a five by the seat type of girl so I think that's how you say it um, and I just like having my own schedule creating my own schedule and doing what I love but on my time if that makes sense so with that I am a independent contractor and I go to different sites that need coverage. I do work with a company and they send me out or they call and ask, hey, what is your availability for this month? And you tell them and those are the days that I work. I typically only work three days tops a week. Um, I don't do the whole five days a week. Now I can, that's an option. But um, that's just me. I, I just choose not to work over in abundance. Um, with that being said, so one, I'm an independent contractor and I choose my own availability. Okay, so two, I have been doing this for almost 15 years traveling. And... I absolutely love it. I don't, I, I have stuck it out. I've taken a sabbatical. I've taken a month off here, two months off, six months off, whatever. Um, I have had full-time jobs. I still consider this a full-time job because it's paying my bills. I have never gone without working. Um, and so that's a plus. And I've had full-time jobs where I've actually worked Monday through Friday for a company um, here and there I still enjoy that when I first started this channel I was working at a eight to five type of job and um, so not I'm not frowning or you know downing those type of jobs that they're just not for me right now and so um, I like the flexibility of what my independent contracting job offers. I pay my own taxes. I pay my own insurance. I have malpractice insurance through SDMS. Um, and so if you guys aren't familiar with that, they do offer malpractice insurance. Um, and I pay for that yearly. Um, just to cover yourself, you never know. People are so happy out here. So, um, but just to cover yourself. I've never, ever, 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 ever had to use it. But I know that I have it just to protect my assets and my family. I have it. And then the other thing is, um, that's just like kind of like the behind, behind the, behind the scenes of what I do. Independent contracting work can be, um, strict and when I say strict financially strict when you're an independent contractor you do your own taxes so when you get your check you have to save I do 20% out of my check so um, oh, be careful, baby. 
there's an accident, Lord, help them, um, protect them. And so you have to make sure that you are aware of taxes in your state and how much, you know, they're charging you and things like that. Um, and just hold out and be diligent in holding out your money for IRS. So other than that, that's that. Um, so you have to do your own taxes as an independent contractor. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I mean, there's so many perks with being your in your own independent contractor, your own boss, your own what have you. Um, it just it alleviates so much drama in the workplace because you're there to do a job. You don't know anybody. You can't get wrapped up into the politics of. Sorry for the lighting. You can't get wrapped up in the politics of the job and you know, the company or what have you, they're there, they're grateful that you're there because you're covering them and you're making sure their patients are being taken care of. But, I mean, you can't ask for a better job, I swear. Like, come join me, you'll see. Um, but, with that being said, the, the downside to traveling is you're walking in blind set. You're, and you don't know what their protocols are. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what kind of doctor you'll be working with. Well, you know, after doing this for 50, almost 15 years, I've come to realize that every facility works the same way. And when I say that is, you're scanning a patient, there's protocols, there's um, a radiologist, and there's nothing really to fluctuate away from that. Um, the only thing is, is that I will definitely um, tell you that just do your protocol and what you know, because what ends up happening is, is that say you walk into a Kaiser and you know how to do abdomens, but you don't know how they do their abdomens. What happened? Oh, there's always a worksheet you, we have to fill out. There's always a worksheet we have to fill out. And um, you look at that worksheet and you see what maybe they're asking for you to add or sample the hepatic veins or the portal veins or, you know, maybe in your abdomen protocol, you don't get the aorta. I hope you do, but just say for this video's sake, you don't. But when you walk into Kaiser, they do. So you just know to add those shots to your protocol. Um, they're not, it's not like uh, a micromanagement type of thing. So you know how to scan, you're walking in there, you know what to do. Just do your protocol. Don't waver from that. Um, and if you need to add images or take away images, I never take away images even if they don't ask for it. I always do it. Regardless, I take over a hundred pictures, so um, that's just me. That's just my protocol and what I do, my signature for my images. Um, but you don't have to uh, do that if you want to. Just go by whatever their protocol is. Look at their worksheets, see what they're asking for. That you know, some places get liver caps, the capsule of the liver. Some places don't. So, but do I still add it? Yes, I do. Regardless if they're asking for it or not, um, that's just a part of my protocol and what I offer. The other thing is, is that if you're a tech, and I don't advise you to get into traveling with companies for 13-week assignments if you are under two years of working. If you just graduated, they're not going to even look at you in the sense of you don't have the experience yet. So, with that, I'm trying to block the sun. With that, um, you can, if you're under two years or if you're just graduating, they want someone with experience. They want somebody that can have the confidence, that can work independently, that's not going to go in there timid and scared. No. When you are a traveler, you have to have sonography confidence. 
and this is my merch. Isn't it cute? Um, because they they want you to go in working independently and they don't have to hold your hand. All they got to show you is maybe how to work the computer system or um, you know show you the department. They don't want to have to show you how to scan and go portable and do all those things. Of course, they'll take you and train you the first couple days because who goes in blindsided? But after that, they want you up and running and you know have the wherewithal of knowing what to do as far as scanning patients, sending over to packs, looking at your images, writing up your own reports. So that is huge. The other thing is, is that um, when you walk into a facility, you're gonna be a little nervous, right? Who does? Who's not? Um, who's not nervous, but it's just a learning curve. You'll get past that. I promise you, you will. Um, I have hired probably five techs in the last four or five months, and they're new grads, but I'm confident in sending them out because uh, I train them. I worked with them for a few days and now they're free to go and they're making great money new new out of school so if you are new out of school contact me I can get you a independent contract job and um, but you will have to work with me I have to see your skills I have to see if you're able to work independently um, and I would have to see how quick you are because that's the next thing they want to make sure that you're not going to be there wasting their time. You're spending an hour on each patient. No, you're going to have to work efficient, efficiently and diligently on all patients. ER patients, out, um, outpatients, in-house patients. So, yeah. I hope this is making sense. I'll round everything up at the end. I'll like put everything together at the end for you. But, um... Yeah, I mean, being an independent contractor to me has been great. It's been flexible for my family. My family can travel with me. Um, this job offers hotel stays, not apartment stays. So if you are looking for an apartment stay and to travel within, um, like to, you know, an apartment, get you a car, traveling expenses, things like that, that goes with. The 13 week assignment traveling jobs um, which are great and they're offering great money right now so if you are interested in traveling my top three companies that I've worked with are Maximum Healthcare, Arias Healthcare and um, Med Travelers um, they've all been good to me um, I've never had an issue with them I've never had an issue with those companies. Those are my top three recommendations. There are other out, there's others out there. Club staffing is another good one. Um, but I just always say, call all three, see which one's offering you the best package. Uh, always try to get top pay for your hourly rate. Always try to get housing, try to get a car arrangement and traveling expenses and also your per diem per diem is how much they're going to pay you per day to eat um and so they that's on top of your pay and so typically they'll say hey you know what i'll pay you this is just for this video it's much higher now but thirty dollars an hour well that thirty dollars an hour does not include your per diem so your per diem might be, will give you $50 a day f for your food. And um, the $30 is for your hourly rate. So that's what you're going to be bringing home. But you don't need to touch that money because 50, the $50, you can eat off of that. And they're paying for your housing. They are also giving you a car. Um, I've never had to touch my check that I went... When I did the 13-week assignments, I never had to touch my direct deposit. And as well as those companies offer, when you sign up with them, from the first day that you start on that job, they offer medical 
health coverage. So that's a plus. Like you're not out there just with no insurance or whatever. You're covered under health care plan with them. You choose it. You choose their health care plan, and they cover you while you're working for them um, with health care. So it starts on day one of you starting your job. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I've never had to worry about my health and coverage insurance. I've always been, and they also offer 401k. So if you continue to do assignments with them, it'll be really nice. They travel companies go all over the world. If you want to go to Hawaii, if you want to go to the Philippines, if you want to go to Guam, if you want to go to Texas, if you want to go to California, they offer it. So oh, it's like, so I am just telling you guys this because I get a lot of questions about how do I start tra traveling? Where do I go to start traveling? It's just a phone call, literally. Pick up the phone, call a company, and say, hey, I'm interested in traveling as an ultrasound sonographer, ultrasound technologist. How can I start? What are you, what are you offering? Um, and they'll tell you all the details and go from there and then you say okay well they'll then from there they'll send you a checklist of what you could do it's called a skills checklist they'll ask for your credentials they'll ask for your um your experience things like that and your resume and it's just like applying for a job a little different you do interview say kaiser they said, hey, Kaiser's, you know, interested in you, so can you do an interview? And it's typically just a phone interview. It's typically just a phone interview, so you don't have to worry about, like, um, going in person. Nowadays, they do Zoom, and they've always done just phone interviews. I never had to go to a company that I'm, that, you know, for a traveling job interview on site no the interview takes place over the phone they see how you are over the phone see what kind of how you're answering and responding to their questions and how confident you are so don't say well I kind of could do that or yeah maybe I can get that or I'm a quick learner no it's more or less of oh yeah I could walk into your facility and do what you're asking me to do which are pretty much general ultrasounds so you don't have to uh, stress about that but yeah I don't I don't talk down traveling at all traveling is great even if you do have family um, like I said I traveled with mine when I was single I did it as well and I loved it I went in you know different cities and had apartments and lived and enjoyed it and met great people um, I don't think that you uh, will not love it. The only place, the only way that I say that you're not going to love it is, is that if you're not open to learning and being around new people. But I'm a people person, so I absolutely love it. But I'm not a drama person, and I don't like politics of a company. And so if I, you know, the drama and all that and in, in department things even as a travel you will hear about drama and stuff but you just don't get involved in it you go to work and you do what you're asked to do and then you leave and you get paid how hard is that you don't have to punch no clock you don't have to do anything like that and I absolutely love it um, and yeah so if you want to be a traveler be a traveler go explore have fun don't worry about the protocols if you are if you have been an ultrasound tech which you should have already been and if you're you know two five six ten twelve years into this go for it it's the exact same situation where you left even if you're retired and you want to go to traveling maybe you want to start traveling because you want to see different parts of the world go do it you work and then you have the rest of the time to yourself. You might have to share a call, which is normal. Um, but, I mean, you're not walking in blindsided. You already know the business. You already know how to scan patients. You already know what to do. 
your protocol, keep it, don't change it. If you have to add an image, if we have to take away image, do it. If not, don't worry about it, but always try to conform to what they're asking. Um, I don't change my protocol, but I might add, I, I will add images that they may need or that they do want. So, but my protocol stays the same. Um, that doesn't that doesn't waver. I just add on extra images that they may need. So I don't talk down about the independent contract or doing 13 week assignments. I don't. And with the 13 week assignments, let me add this: they do take out taxes. They do do all that, so you don't have to worry about doing your ta own taxes. They do um, a W two where I'm a 1099. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think that's exciting. Um, I know you reached out to me on Instagram and I so appreciate you. Um, I, I say go for it. Reach for the stars. Believe me, you'll love it. Don't let nothing, don't let fear hold you back. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but, um, yeah, like you, you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. And um, I want to apologize for not completing what I said I was going to complete in Vlogmas. But um, that, that will be another video. Yeah. So I hope you guys heard the information. Who cares what I look like? I'm sorry as far as the lighting is concerned. Because I'm driving, I'm going to work, and I'm trying to get this information out there to you. As you see, I'm bobbing up and down. But, um, yeah, so I really hope that you guys like this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. Why?